And I was a teenager. I was so excited to go to this concert. There was a female who was strong and powerful and amazing, and I just so looked up to her. And I was in the audience, and the crowd was going wild, and she was beautiful and fierce. And she came out on the stage about halfway through the show and said, Ladies, your power is in direct proportion to your ability to seduce a man. And that broke me. Because I saw the eight-year-old little girl next to me who looked up to this person as an idol, looked up to this person as a role model, and now believes that if she's not beautiful, and if she can't lure some guy in, that she's not valuable. And I want to tell you right now that that is not true. You were born valuable. You're going to die valuable. And no person's opinion of you or your potential is ever going to change that. I've never been, I've never been the right gender, the right age, or the right color to do anything that I've set out to do. But I also didn't let anybody stop me because of that. I am accountable to my maker for my one chance on earth. And I had to make that decision early because I grew up in a place that what I wanted to do was not allowed. It wasn't okay. But when I understood, but when I understood what I was capable of, if I lived a surrendered life, if I was being guided by God, the creator of the universe, and I was accountable to him. No human with their limited perspective can tell me what my future is. No human that can only see the past can tell me what my potential is. You are enough, therefore you can do anything. I was so confused growing up, being shown by the world that women's value is equal to your ability to seduce, is equal to how beautiful you are in comparison to someone else. I was so lost trying to be fitting in whatever marketing said was beautiful this week. And I realized when someone told me that my life purpose was to be in the kitchen, that they were wrong. That's a beautiful life purpose if I pick it, but I have to pick it.